students welcome back to educative rkis today in this video we are going to learn about the major river of india what is a river a large natural stream of water flowing in a channel to the sea a lake or another river there are many river in the india of course in all over the world rivers of india can be classified into himalayan river and peninsular river every river have to story to tell so let's see some of the river of india first is indus river indus river its origin from mansarovar lake and merge in arabian sea it flow through to union territory ladakh then enter in pakistan then merge in arabian see next is ganga we can see the ganga river system ganga river system start as the bhagirath from the gangotri glacier it is joined by the alknanda river at deprayag in uttarakhand to from ganga its length is over 25 km the ganga is joined by many tributaries these are yamuna gandak ghagra kosi etc main stream of ganga flows into bangladesh where it is joined by the brahmaputra further downstream it is known as meghna this river flows into bay of bengal and make sundarban delta and the next river is brahmaputra river This river origin from Mansarovar Lake at Sanukwab Glacier, and it flows throughout the state of Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, and it flows through China, India, and its main stream join with Ganga at Bangladesh, and it is known as Meghna and make Sundarban Delta. and the next is the peninsular rivers peninsular rivers these are seasonal rivers as their flow is depend on rainfall during the dry season the large river even reduce the flow of water in their channel most peninsular rivers originate in the western ghats and flow toward the bay of bengal for example mahanadi godavari krishna kaveri these river make deltas at their mouth next are tapi and narmada these river are only two long river which flow west and make estuaries the drainage basin of the peninsular rivers are comparatively small in size in peninsula river first is the narmada basin it originate in the amarkantak hills of madhya pradesh it flows toward the west in a rift valley and sink into arabian sea next is the tapi basin it originate in the satpura range in the betul district of madhya pradesh it flows in a rift valley parallel to the narmada river but it is much shorter in length next is the godavari basin godavari river originate from the slope of the western ghats in the nasik district of maharashtra its length about 1500 km it is also known as dakshin ganga it flow through the state of madhya pradesh odisha andhra pradesh the mahanadi basin mahanadi river originate in chatisgarh highland it flows through odisha to reach the bay of bengal its length about 860 km next is the krishna basin krishna river originate from the western ghat near mahabaleshwar it flows into the bay of bengal its length is about 1400 km 
Its tributaries are Tungbhadra, Koina, Ghat Prabha, etc. And the next is Kaveri Basin. It originates in the Brahmagiri range of Western Ghat. Its length is about 750 km. Its main tributaries are Amravati, Bhavani, Hemavati, etc. It makes the second biggest waterfall in India known as Shiv Smudram waterfall. Thanks for watching.